Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for watching. For today's video, I'm just going to go over the traditional candy cart. For those of you that purchase the plans, there's a couple of different details that you'd want to know that kind of help you out. We're just going to go over those and kind of some of the upgrades that you can do. Let's get started. So for the legs, if you wanted something else, there's some different options that you can have. You can get a table leg, cut it in half on the on the inside. You can use these, take that out, use a table saw and split it in half. It'll still close. It might give you a bigger gap. It'll still close most of the way or you can kind of notch it out and it'll actually fit perfect and flush. You just leave a little section left and it'll actually work out pretty well. But if you wanted just a basic cart, this works well as well. Even the roofing, if you did want a different type of roofing to give you a different look. You can double layer this, you can cut different slats and just have it up here. I think I had an old cart that I did that had like um, lines this way. Definitely don't be afraid to kind of make this your own and do your own design. So just another idea to customize it. And some people, they like that little curved design at the, at the bottom of theirs, just like that. Little example um, of something you could do. So all I did was put the paint can there. Say at Lowe's with daddy. No. No, you're not at Lowe's with daddy? Yeah. No. No? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is where I got the plywood. Let me half inch thick. This is what you can get for the roof. <laughs> this down here is where I found the tabletop. It's actually shelving. See all the different shelving? These are made mainly for um, like putting shelves together. I don't know if you can see it. So the one I use is the panel I got last time and I didn't really look and it was warped so make sure to go through and find the one that's not warped you can get any type of velcro um, I think I used something similar to this one but mine was black you really wouldn't need to put as much as I did if you really wanted to you could probably just put a section here and a section here but one thing I did want to cover before I do this let's see how much weight it can take because again really this is made for maybe cupcakes a small cake but you also want to be prepared for that so let's see what it can take no way it's holding me I want to jump around it's not super stable but it's not really meant to hold over 100 pounds it's doing pretty well i think it should hold some cupcakes if you want you can even add those spindles instead of this set up for the top if you can use these just instead of this you just put the spindles in in case it'll give it a different look so there's so many different options you can do with this i just wanted to give you all a heads up on some of the ideas i was thinking out loud that I decided not to do because I wanted to keep this as uh, simple and as clean of a card as you can, especially making it out of just uh, mainly plywood. Let's use the common, either common board or just a, a white wood board. It's the basic, the cheapest, and it's the So definitely don't be afraid to customize it, make it different. Uh, there's a lot of different things from the roof to the leggings to the wheel. I'll show you the wheel in a second. If you wanted to and you wanted to make your wheels thicker, um, instead of using this plywood again, this is just a base cart for someone who just wanted to build a cart. Um, you can actually make this out of three pour, three fourths plywood, and it's going to be a lot stronger. All right, so one of the things I did want to cover is um, if you did not want to cut the wheel uh, and you wanted to purchase your own, um, I put an example of wheel that I've used before. This is in there. This is from the, and then I just put a little cap on the other side. One inch screws from the back into this wheel. Then all you're gonna really do to there, and then you'll cut this piece the exact length you need for it to be there. And you'll do the same thing with a side. And I originally did not want to include the templates uh, just because it can be difficult. Everybody's printer is different. Their settings are different. The type of paper they use is different. The measurements, it, it can throw a lot of things off. Uh, I decided to include those other things in more as a bonus, uh, kind of give you an idea of the shape I used. So definitely um, use that as a guide, but don't use that as a set standard. Um, use some of the measurements we have and everything else we provide to make sure your cart looks just the way you want it. And I will give you all the measurements I have of my cart, but remember, once you're using those templates or once you're building your build, the way you position the wheel, the way you position any of the things can throw a little bit of the measurements off. So always double check your measurements. I give you a lot of tips on the plans of how to kind of adjust and measure on which parts to do first and which ones to do next. Build exactly like mine, but yours will come out great. But I'm also gonna put in my numbers just for a reference, just in case you're doing something like, why does mine look different? You can measure it and you'll look back at mine. Yeah, so don't be afraid to kind of look around Lowe's or Home Depot. Just find the one that works out good for you and customize it. 